Welcome to Spike Island, 1,300 years of history, characters, and secrets. I don't really need many excuses to visit Cove. I love this little town and I'm always happy to go back. But this time an adventure awaits me. I'm about to get a ferry to a small island right off the shores. Let's discover together the stories and uncover the past secrets of Spike Island. the ferry right now on our way to discover the secret of Spike Island which is about 10 minutes away from the coast. We just left Cove which is right behind us. We just got here, we just disembarked, we're ready to start. Very welcome to Spike Island. So I'd just like to give you a little bit of a historical background to this particular building which is uh, just behind me here. This was one of the first buildings to be put on the site of Spike Island. It represents one of the darkest uh, periods of Spike's history as well. During the time of the famine, this particular building was uh, converted into a jail. Inside one of the underground tunnels here at Spike Island, as you can see, the soldiers would have stayed here and they had this window to look out for enemies. The entrance was obviously through a tunnel, and I'm gonna get through the second tunnel to get out, which is properly creepy and as an echo, too. Park, there are tons of different cannons and artilleries that you can see and that were used to defend this place and the rest of Ireland for centuries. But there's also one cool thing, it's one of the few places where you can see an actual tank right behind you. So this was the area here where the officers would have signed in the prisoners, taken their records and details and then moved them in to a solitary confinement cell. There was no understanding of, of prisoner psychology in those days. Uh, psychiatric problems were unknown or unheard of. Uh, so uh, prison, prison behaviour of prisoners was, was not taken into account at all. stuck here inside one of the cells in pitch dark with nothing at all around you. It must have been terrible. And I don't know if you can hear the sound effects. <laughs> Doesn't sound comfortable at all. We're 
inside the cell now. We're yeah. inside an actual cell that was used yeah. by prisoners, yes. and you were telling me that the conditions here were dire, pretty yeah. tragic. Yes, they were, they were tragic. And you can look into the cell here, and you can see this unfortunate man who has been who is being punishment in, in, in solitary confinement. And a lot of these men was only a matter of time before they degenerated to a large extent into insanity. Were they kept here waiting for transportation or would they basically die here? No, some of them, these were transported uh, to the colonies, so they would have been transported to Bermuda and Australia. But there are letters here on Spike to show that the governor of those colonies sent back letters uh, here to the governor of Spike Island uh, requesting him not to send any of these men because they were gone insane. This was known as Harlan's Hell, right? And that's exactly, the reason why. Exactly. It was one of the most feared prisons in Ireland. Spike Harland is considered to be the Irish Alcatraz, but in reality this place is 10 times bigger than Alcatraz, which is probably the most famous prison in the world. For a period of time, this place was the largest prison in the entire world. So we're walking down one of the corridors of the prison. Would it be normally this kind of dark? Would it be darker? It would have been darker. There is some uh, emergency lighting on now behind us. This is the modern block with the modern cells. That's very different, completely different from the old ones that I just showed you before. Although there are more beds in here, at least people could use the toilet. I gotta say the jail, the conditions are much better. Look at this room. It's kind of dark, but it's got stained glass windows. We have records here on Spike to show that men, and remember it was an all-male prison, got seven years detention for stealing a sheep. There was up to two and a half thousand men imprisoned here on Spike during that time. Supposedly, to That's right, I should stay here. myself, although some, photogra some photographs that have been taken in here uh, will show um, images in the background. So they have been recorded in the past as well. Should we get out of here? Um, if you feel scared, <laughs> you should probably. But the spooky stories about Spike Island don't just end there at the paranormal activities. The story of Joseph Dwyer would be a great episode for one of the many Netflix shows. Joseph Dwyer was a well-educated man from Dublin. He liked to live large, he didn't really like to work, so uh, his father would basically give him money to buy very expensive clothes. When his father refused to give him money anymore, uh, he started to come up with plans to keep buying all those expensive clothes that he needed. Out of money, one day he ordered some expensive clothes from a tailor at Dame Street in Dublin, and he had a plan to welcome the porter. When the delivery man arrived, he went down the alley with him, pulled out a gun and shot. But he missed the porter and the two started fighting. And while fighting, they were screaming. Obviously there was a lot of commotion and the guards came. When the guards arrived, they lead up the room and discovered that Joseph Dwyer had already dug a grave for the porter. So he had a perfect plan. Kill the man, steal the clothes. Joseph Dwyer ended up spending 20 years of his life here in Spike Highland. Cork County Council have done a fabulous job here in actually upgrading Spike Island and preserving its rich and varied history. I think it's very important to preserve that era of history uh, because we learn so much from our history uh, so that the mistakes of the past cannot be repeated in the future. 
So thank you very much for your time today. So our tour is done. We're just out. We just left. They just released us. What did you think of Spike Island, Mari? It was great. It was great. It's a great yeah. place. It's a great place. Uh, if you're around, just go. It's a, it's a very good experience. The tour is over. And as we're hopping on the ferry back to Cove, I look around me and see the little village in Spike Island and Cove from the distance, with St. Coleman's Cathedral dominating the scene. I feel extremely lucky to have had the opportunity to visit Spike Island, learn more about its thousands of years of history and characters. But I can't help thinking that just a few centuries ago, those who boarded a ship weren't going back to Cove, but they were being deported to faraway lands. I let my good friend Alva explain this. Alba, thank you for being such an amazing guide. So I think it's uh, the sad part of Spike's history here. Uh, it's reflected in the uh, well-known song, uh, The Fields of Athenry. They stole Trevelyan's corn, so the young might see the morn, and now a ship lies waiting in the bay. Thank you so much for watching this video, really appreciate it and I hope you like Spike Island. It's an absolutely fascinating place, despite the fact that I'm stuck inside the cell. Ah, the door is open now.